2023 Royal Enfield Hunter 350. The Hunter 350 is a modern-day Royal Enfield. The Hunter 350 still follows the typical Royal Enfield 350cc design. It has the same silhouette, the retro theme, and the classic round headlight. There have been some necessary changes to this model to make it look more like a modern roadster. There is a lot of influence coming from Triumph, as the Hunter does a great job of looking both retro and sporty. While Royal Enfield has taken a modern approach to the bike, the Hunter 350 misses out on an LED headlight. Other than that, the bike has got a chunky front section, fat tires, a peanut-style fuel tank, a short rear section, and a short exhaust. Removing all the chrome elements also adds to the urban roadster charm. The Hunter 350 looks great on the road. It's compact, muscular, and has got some vibrant paintwork. The 17-inch tires are sporty, and the alloy wheels give it a modern urban touch. The Hunter 350 instrumentation is also part analog and part digital, once again aiming itself towards newer and younger riders. Tripper navigation is optional, but there is also USB charging available, making the Hunter a proper modern urban Royal Enfield motorcycle. The Hunter 350cc engine thumps nicely. The Hunter gets the same 350cc single-cylinder engine found on the Meteor and the Classic. However, the throttle mapping has been slightly adjusted. When you get going off the mark, the throttle response is pretty good for a bike of this size. It's more responsive than the other 350cc bikes in Royal Enfield Stable. Power gets delivered to the rear wheel via a 5-speed transmission, and the output is also the same, with 20.2 horsepower at your beck and call. Acceleration is linear and easily controllable, but the Hunter is certainly not a sprinter off the line. With 19.8 pound-feet of torque, you can't expect neck-breaking acceleration but, what you do get is a peppy burst of power from first gear up to third. The torque is also available from down low in the revs, and you can quickly get to 50 miles per hour. Once you shift up to fourth and the revs climb, you will find that the Hunter starts to run out of breath. This is an urban retro motorcycle though, so it's not meant to be lightning quick or a high-speed cruiser. You could get up to 70 miles per hour, but after that, the engine runs out of breath. And, if you are a heavy rider like me, this low power output becomes even less impressive on a highway. Within city limits, the engine is capable of satisfying more reserved riders who like the retro appeal of the Hunter. It sounds great, and you feel the classic Royal Enfield thump. Overall, the engine has got a lot of character, is confidence-inspiring, and is always under your control. The Hunter 350 is easy to ride. The dimensions have also changed slightly, and the chassis has a few updates. This makes the Hunter 350 much lighter than the other Royal Enfield 350 motorcycles. At 399 pounds wet, the Hunter 350 is easier and more fun to ride. The wheelbase has also been shortened thanks to a steeper rake angle and a shorter trail, and with 17-inch tires on both ends, 
The Hunter 350 gets sharper steering. The suspension setup is also reworked, and the non-adjustable 41-inch front forks are now slightly stiffer. All these new changes make the Hunter perfect for riding in the city. It also makes the bike easily accessible to all riders. The ergonomics are also set up for the urban roadster style of the bike. The foot peg's positioning offers a hybrid of comfort and sportiness. The seat height has been set at 31 inches. If you are a tall rider, you will not find your legs cramped at all. I am well over 6 feet tall, and the bike was very comfortable. Riding the Hunter 350 is easy and effortless. The bike is very well balanced and turns into corners nicely. Riding in traffic is seamless, and you won't break a sweat trying to manage the weight of the bike. If you do decide to head out further from the city, the Hunter 350 is comfortable to ride for long hours. Why should you buy the Royal Enfield Hunter 350? Developed as a global product, the Hunter 350 will no doubt sell in much higher numbers in developing markets in Southeast Asia, with India taking the majority share. In the US, the Hunter 350 would be the perfect motorcycle for beginners, or maybe even older riders looking to jump back on. It's a small urban roadster that does offer just a dash of sportiness. If you like retro styling, then the Hunter is a great package. However, if you are looking for something with a lot more performance and aggressive design, the KTM 390 Duke is the best motorcycle to get your adrenaline pumping. The Hunter 350 is a niche product in North America, but so is the entire 350cc range from Royal Enfield. Pricing for the Hunter 350 is yet to be confirmed, but expect it to be similar to the other 350cc models, which is around $4,500. That means the Hunter 350 will be the cheapest British retro-styled motorcycle you can get your hands on. To sum it up, the Hunter 350 is a great motorcycle. The build quality is strong, it's comfortable for everyone, handles very well, and looks beautiful on the road. It also gets abs and USB charging, which is incredible for a bike at this price point. Urban mobility seems to be changing all around the world, and there are a lot of people who are looking to start riding motorcycles. Royal Enfield has got a lot of great options for everyone, but the Hunter 350 seems to be the most modern motorcycle of them all.